Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit, Eric, my rhymes are pathetic, barbaric, generic. Anyways, what's up? This is Savage Halloween. I hope you guys are having a great time. Check this out. It's like a Neo Retro type of game. Look at this. Savage Halloween. We're playing on the PS5. This is an indie game. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to do normal because we're not hardcore. Let's go ahead and choose James because he's a pumpkin looking dude. And uh, here we go. Savage Halloween. Boombox. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Damn punks. Well, at least that speed, it shouldn't take long to reach the castle. All right. So, oh my gosh. What is this? <laughs> what in the world is this, ladies and gentlemen? Oh no. I think this is a run and gun type of game. Halloween themed. So it was right up my alley. Look at this. Hidden gem. First kill, baby. Got a trophy. Aim lock. Hold zero, L2. Okay, there we go. So. Oh my gosh, I am completely sold on this already. This is like a modern day NES title. <laughs> this is cool. And this is also on Xbox and I believe Nintendo Switch as well. So it's on all the consoles. Um, but I'm playing it on PlayStation right now. If you guys are interested in checking this out, this is very Neo Retro. This is something that I could definitely sink the teeth into. This is what I like when indie developers make stuff like this that are like homages to uh, games of yesteryear, but modern day, uh, modern day stuff. You can tell they definitely put some TLC into this game. Oh, I'm in the spikes. Oh, at least it wasn't a one hit kill, right? That would have uh, definitely peed me off. Oh, good look at this. Spread shot. Spread shot. Oh gosh. Get rid of the pink dude or purple, whatever his color is. Purplish, pinkish. All right. There we are. Look at this. Music's pretty jamming too, I must say. Uh, I definitely wonder what wonder what Newt thinks about this game. Special. I have a special. Let's wait until we're like. I'm gonna hold that special until we're uh we're about to die. Oh, I just realized, I forgot you could switch weapons with the Z with the triggers. See, we'll keep the, we'll keep the spread shot. Actually, no, we'll we'll move to the. Oh, here we go. I just did the special. I didn't see anything. <laughs> I guess that was it. It kind of did like a an earthquake effect. All right, shoot! Come on, dude. Ah, that was my first death. Not that bad though. It took a little bit, but it was good. All right, here we go. Mhm. Mm there we go. It's got it all. It got little fire pits, little climbing, little pulleys, little little mine trails, or mine mine carts. I mean, this game has it all. Little ghost pea shooters, specials, a jack o' lantern with freaking legs. <laughs> all right, definitely has a Contra slash Mega Man slash 
Mega Man, Contra, um, I think what else? Vibe. Maybe a little bit of Bucky O'Hare on the NES. Definitely has some of those vibes. Ah, Shovel Knight as well. I'm very curious if there's secret, secret areas to access. I'm shooting at a chicken. All right. Uh, some of these weapons I do not like. Okay, did I make it to the end of the level? Witch. Anyone need a ride? She giving me a- Oh my gosh. We have shoot 'em up areas too? Okay. I am absolutely sold. I am absolutely sold on this game. <laughs> this is hidden gem territory right here, guys. This is definitely hidden gem territory. I'm not even gonna lie. Wow. We got flying like half naked dudes with wings. We got bats. We got full moons. We have spread shot from Contra. We got chip tunes. We got a jack o' lantern flying on a witch's broom. What more could you want? There we go. Oh, oh. And we got the spread shot again. And I'm not even at the boss fight yet. Of the main level, of this level. Wow. Got him, got him, need him, got him, boys and girls. Checkpoint. So there's checkpoints in this. All right, I see you. This is a long level. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm still flying. Where, are, where are we going? Okay, I don't think I can kill these flash. And, oh, I can. Okay, for some reason I didn't think you could kill these dudes. I thought that you just had to avoid them. Kind of like in uh, Mario Brothers 3. Oh my gosh, I just got another trophy. In Mario 3, there's those sections where uh, you're in the water and you can't kill those certain uh, like jellyfish. They're like black jellyfish. They're just like stage hazards. That's what I thought these flashy things were. Okay, so it seems like the special is kind of lame. I just hit the special and it didn't really do anything fantastic. So, let's keep doing whatever with that. There we go. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Long ass level. <laughs> We're at another checkpoint, but I'm over here like, where's the boss fight? Little too long, in my opinion, but it's still pretty neat. Just variety is a spice of life, right? Oh gosh, I just died. That game over? Can I instantly start where I was at? The checkpoint? Okay, checkpoint three. Okay, at least I'm starting at my checkpoint. <laughs> oh, 
All right, what are these red things? They look like, like little floating hearts with eyeballs. There we go. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of weapons now. There we go. Come on. There we go. Uh, boss fight finally. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's a big rapper ghost. He looks like a rapper to me because he has shades and a some fucking bling. I wonder if any of the weapons do different amount of damage. Seems like some of them do more than the other. I killed them! <laughs> I died and killed them at the same time. Wow, that was just a mini boss. Stage 106, boss fight. Okay, so that was a mini boss. Now is the real boss fight. Is there a checkpoint? Do I get a checkpoint? This is nuts. This monster's name is Big Daddy, by the way. That's what Jay's mom calls me. <laughs> I bet sometimes there's like people that are new to the channel and are like, Who's this Jay? Why are you talking about his mother? What's the inside joke? Oh gosh, come on dude. I gotta, I gotta learn how to read his fucking pattern a lot better. <laughs> I'm just moving around. I ain't even trying to fucking not get hit. See, now he's gonna come from the sides. See, I thought he was coming from the right. There we go. Okay, we're good. We are good. Watch it and avoid it. And shoot up here. So we can get him. He's less than halfway. Oh, that's it for me. Game over. See, I'm not even trying to employ a strategy. I'm just trying to kill. His life meter is freaking long. Let's try one more time. Because I ain't going down like that. <laughs> I go down fighting. See, this gun seems pretty fast. But... There we go. Come on, dude. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna use this. The pea shooter is what's fastest. See, he's hard to fucking avoid. Just like jumping over. It, it's a lot tougher than it looks. It's not... Like I'm actually going in blind to these games. Like a lot of people are like... When I pick these games up, I go in blind. Playing a lot of them. These are like my first impressions of the game. See if we could just shoot this dude. There we go. That's taking a good amount of damage off of his ass. 
See, he always goes the opposite of where I think he's gonna go. <laughs> like, for whatever reason, I always think he's gonna be coming from the other side. And then he doesn't. Watch, he's gonna come from behind me. Yep. There we go. We got him right here. No, we don't. <laughs> got him. So yeah, Savage Halloween. Not half bad, guys. I don't want to bore you anymore. Go ahead and play it for yourself if you want. I think it's pretty neat. It's a Neo Retro game, Halloween themed. Kind of run and gun, old school type of game. I think it's pretty neat. Feel free to go check it out.